Alright, so as I demonstrated slightly in my previous videos on painting your sewing machine, the way you do it is you take your parts apart that you can, and then you get a scouring pad like this, and you scrub gently to get all the white gloss off. And then after that's off, you take a Microsoft towel and wipe it, and you get some denatured alcohol and you wipe and then you find something to sit this on and then you be careful and you shake your can really good guys and then you spray across lightly let it dry come back an hour later spray it again and don't try to spray it all at once I've done that I made that mistake and it just will drip on you okay so um, when that happens and you get messed up, then you've got to get a, a sander and sand everything off and redo it again. So just be careful. Well, this is pretty. So this one now is for my Janome. And uh, this had some nicks and dings on it. It was banged up, so I had to really sand it and try to smooth it out as best I can. And I think it came out pretty good. And here I'm using, like this one here is a high gloss a gloss um, this one here is a gloss and because I'm painting indoors you want to make sure that you're painting somewhere where it's not going to affect your home um, in my I'm in my garage right now so I have you know put a pad down and then what I like to do when I spray also I put a board behind put a board behind so it doesn't get all, all everywhere you know just take caution if you're going to spray paint outside, just make sure there's no wind that's going to tip this over because that's happened to me also. It's tipped over and I had to redo it again. There's trials, there's lessons, so you got to be prepared and realize what's going to happen. And then if it's not glossy enough for you, you take some clear gloss after it's all dry. Wait at least 24 hours. Again, make sure you shake these really good and you spray a light coating. Wait, no light coating. So... This has got enough coating on it right now. Look how shiny that is. See how beautiful? See how shiny that is? That's just enough for me. Hi, everybody. So I got into this mood that I wanted to paint my sewing machines and particularly my older models. And I said, you know what? I've got a sewing class uh, semester coming in January. And I want the students to feel fun. I want these machines to feel fun. So when the students come in, they can say, oh, this and that. And every student that comes to my class, they'll be able to sit in front of a different machine to sew. Because in my classes, I teach diversity in the operation of different model machines. And they love that. It's been going well. Um, I was doing that before the pandemic. And after the pandemic, I haven't done a class. And I decided this January, I was going to start the semester back up. It's a three-month semester. I only take four students at a time. And we meet every other week. So, but I want to show you this beautiful machine. So I wasn't feeling the blue last time. I remember you saw pictures I posted, it was blue. Just wasn't feeling it. This I feel. This is a nice little pastel machine. Uh, this is happy. This one's a very happy machine. Now I want to show you some. This is a leather. This is a real leather. And watch what this machine does with leather. And you hear how quiet it sews on leather? Beautiful, right? Let's look at that stitching. Look at that beautiful stitching. Let's look at the back. Nice. Nice. Beautiful, right? That's This is an oldie but goodie. This is only this was this was produced in the early 90s, in the early 90s. And then I did my um, I had my cutting machine and I cut out the logo with the model number, and now it looks brand new. It looks refreshed. It feels great. Uh, anyone who sits in front of this is going to feel lively. It's going to feel light, airy, fun. And people always say, well, "Why do you paint your sewing machines? Why? Why? Well, because I can." <clears throat> because I want to, because I own them. They're mine. They're mine. Personalize. Personalize them. And if you know how, you can do a great job. And if you don't know how, practice on other things and perfect it. Perfect practicing on other 
um, machine, other plastic parts. Now, people always say, what paint did you use? Well, I went to the hardware store and I bought spray paint for plastic with a built-in primer. And if you have a color that doesn't have a built-in primer, then buy a primer first. I have videos on YouTube that I made myself that show you what I did on different other machines. You can just look it up on my YouTube channel. But I, in the beginning, I went and looked at all these different videos on YouTube. People always say, which videos did you watch? Well, sweetheart, mister, whoever, I went through so many videos and so will you. You have to do the same thing because there's a little bit in every video to look at. So you have to put your time in if you want to learn. You got to put your time in to learn and practice and keep doing it. And then you'll perfect your craft. It's the same with sewing. Everything you want to do, you got to put your time in to learn, right? All right, here's another machine I painted. This is showing more of a blue purple in the camera. It's actually more of a pretty, pretty great, uh, real lavender, uh, purple, purple in person. Some cameras pick up different purple tones. So, all right, and this is the uh, Singer machine that I painted. This is the lime green. And here's a tip for you guys that I learned also. When you think it's dry and you try to push it down, don't. Wait wait another few days before you close it because this really has to cure on the edge. I have to touch that up. But it really, let me see if I can focus that. Huh, can't get it so focused. Anyway, this really has to um, uh, cure on the edge. And there's one I did have to touch up. This one's not so bad, but try to keep it open or don't close it all the way for at least a whole week until it cures okay that's a tip I want to give you all and then here I did some carbon fiber the vinyl they use to wrap cars I cut that out made a pattern I made a pattern cut it out put it on there I thought that was a cool touch alright so what I want to show you and then everybody's always asking about these lights you know I don't know it's like oh you guys don't shop anywhere I I, I, I I'm telling you, y'all, y'all act helpless sometimes. You got to go on the internet and do some researching. But I'm going to tell you because I post this on the video, my video, so many times. These are industrial lights, and in this, I'll post a link. Well, actually, there's several links. Uh, I attach these with a metal washer and double-sided automotive tape to the back of the machine or the side of the machine or on top of the machine, whatever, whatever's right for you. But I did mine to the back because I don't want it to mess up the paint that I painted. These are LED lights. Uh, you can get these uh, anywhere. You can go to eBay, look on eBay, um, industrial sewing supplies, and uh, yeah, you take automotive tape and a washer. Go to Home Depot, get a washer. Here, I'll show you because so many of you, I don't know why you don't know this by now. There it is. I take an automotive washer and double-sided automotive tape it's, I'm sorry, it's a washer, a metal washer with automotive double-sided tape on the back of the machine. And see, this is magnet. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt the machine. And uh, you can put it on the front. And then you have your little clips. I even have one down here, too, so it brightens it up. Okay? All right, so you guys got to do some homework. I mean, all these people are always asking, where do you buy this? Where do you do that? And I always tell you in every video, whenever I see a product or I see an item, I do a Google search and I enter it. And whatever comes up, I look at the vendors and I choose the vendor of my choice to order from. And that's what you guys can do as well. So I don't know why you're not doing that. But anyway, that's my preaching. I'm not going to preach anymore. you got to be a little more self-sufficient, my friends. All right, so here. This is leather. This is that same piece of leather I used on the Janome, right? All right, let's see what this does. Oh, you know what? i got to increase my stitch length. Got to increase the stitch length. Make it 4.0. Alright, sorry if I'm selling crooked. If I'm selling crooked, I apologize. So yeah, you all have to diversify your sewing. If you only practice one genre of sewing, like if you only use quilt and quilter's cotton, there's a whole world you're missing out there. You need to look at industrial sewing. You need to look at garment sewing. You're going to expand your horizons and your notions and things for your machines. 
But if you limit yourself to only one genre of sewing, you're not going to know a lot of this stuff. So take that lesson and don't be afraid to step outside the box. Just like people say to me, like I said earlier, I said, people say, why do you, why, why, why you paint your machines? Well, because I can, because they're mine and because I want to be happy. I want to personalize it and I can do it. So why? Yeah. I mean, I'm not stuck in a little box, you know, I don't wear tight underwear. <laughs> All right, let's go. Or as my grandmother used to say to snooty women when I was growing up, that woman needs to loosen her bra and get bigger shoes. That's what grandma used to say. She needs to get bigger shoes and loosen her bra. She used to say it to all the negative ladies. In Polish, she used to cut them, call them um, study babas, which I guess means old lady, which meant which meant uh, not a nice lady. That was their phrase for it. All right, see how nice? So, it sews nice, not like the Janome though, but one thing this has that the Janome doesn't, it has a scissor cutter. What the Janome has that this does, and it doesn't have a knee lifter. All right, here's vinyl. Let's see what it'll do on vinyl. Ready? Yeah, if you like make comments like why we paint our sewing machines, why, blah, 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 blah. Man, I encourage you to get a step out of the box and be a little happy. You're not happy in your present life. You are not happy in your present life if you're going to question why people want to add color to their life. I don't know if you all remember a TV show called Julia. Uh, Julia starred Diane Carroll. And I remember an episode where her son came home from school and every picture he had uh, was painting. He was only using black crayon. And so she went to the school to talk about it with the teacher and found out that by the time he got to the crayons, because he let everybody else take the crayons first, the only crayon left was black he, and he didn't have any colors. Isn't there something I remember that episode when I was a kid? I was a kid when I saw that. I think that was in the 60s. 60s? Yeah. I remember that episode so well. So, you know, if you're going to let everybody else grab all the colors and you're not, you're going to be stuck with monotone. There you go. All right, so that's how this is sewing vinyl. Let's see. All right, this was three layers. Oh, look how pretty. Look how pretty. All right, let's fold it over and do one more layer. Let's do one more layer. Let's see. This will make four layers on this vinyl. On this Singer Quantum. I miss my knee lifter on this machine. Love a knee lifter. All right, I'm not sewing very even, but let's just see. Oh, look how nice. Look how beautiful. There's the back. Nice, right? There it is. I hope you enjoyed this little demo on two of the machines I painted. And I'll bring more in the future and let you see. So don't be afraid. Step out of the box, everybody. Don't be a Debbie Downer. Have fun in your life. Bring color into your life. Diversify your sewing room. Try and look at study different genres of sewing. And you'll discover different notions, different ways of sewing, different colors different fabrics, everything. You'll discover so much more if you don't limit yourself. And don't be a stadi baba like my grandma used to say. Okay? I love you all. Bye.